What if you could make 20 sales calls at the same time without needing to hire a sales rep? That's what I'm going to show you today. We're using Retail AI to batch call 20 leads simultaneously with a very minimal setup, saving you time, money, and especially mental headache. This is a simple setup that any business could start today. And if you want help to set up these for your company, I run Sonar AI, a voice AI agency that helps businesses to build these systems custom made for them. We do offer free consultation calls, links down in the description below. And that's it, let's dive in. So here's the setup. We are going to build the scenario in Make. And then what we do is we connect the Make scenario to our Google Sheet where we will be getting the leads information from. And once we have the information of the leads, the information gets back to make.com. And the way that we can kind of filter through the leads that we want to talk to is that perhaps we can say we add a status filter and we say the people that are not called, we need to kind of find them and yeah, bring them to make so that we can dash call them. And yeah, and once we have, let's say the leads coming through into make, what we do is that we will be initiating a request to do a batch call. And the beautiful thing is that we have um, that kind of simplified by retail because now we have retail integrations that allow us to, yeah, simply use the retail module to make an API call. And then we connect the APIs and we do all the authentication and the call, let's say, gets sent. So the batch calling happens. Okay, so let's get started. I think it makes sense to start with the um, like make Google Sheet connection just because it's very easy and then we can build up on that when um, proceeding with retail. I did already all this. So, I mean, I can quickly give you like a demo. So what happens oh, is that we simply look for the in the Google Sheet for the leads that are not called yet. And the way that we do that, the way that we do that is that we have a status filter where we look for the status column and we look for all the leads that have not called. In this situation, I don't have a lead list to call. I'm just going to use like my number, but you can easily add, I don't know, like other 100 people if you want of leads. And the way that you would uh, say I want to call them is just put status not called. And once they are called, you can simply make another automation to say called. So these people have been called that we want to now work with it. So we're going to keep not called. And this is how, let's say, our Google Sheet looks like. So we just have a phone number. That's the phone number that we need to call. So in this case, that's my phone number. We just add a simple name and status. As we just mentioned, it's not called because, well, it's who we want to call. As I said, you can really play with us so you can add as many contacts if you want as you want and you could even find more data inputs to put so i could see easily like we can add here email for example um yeah, yeah. just a very <laughs> example a email and yeah you can really add anything that you want and as many people as you want because the way that retail works is that it will take all the information and it will call up 20 people at a time. So if you have 100, it will probably take five iteration to go through the entire thing, which is really cool. But yeah, let's stick to our example here. Um, and yeah, we have already the Google Sheet set up. So, oops, we go back to uh, make. And maybe let's quickly rebuild this just to show you how it works. I'll keep this here in reference just in case. So what we do is that we add a module and we say Google Sheets. What we were looking for is that we need to search for a row. Search for row. Connect auto. Oh, no, I think that, that was not what we wanted. So, uh, and that's a link here. Maybe if you're in a situation like me where you have like two kind of scenarios and you kind of want to run one specific one, you just, you have this thing in here. You just grab it. And you take it down. If you don't have anything, you probably don't need to know this because uh, you only have one. Uh, module year. Anyways, we have our Google Sheets scenario to search for rows. I already had a connection. Um, I called it retail batch calling. Call it as you wish, but yeah, 
just please add a connection if you haven't yet. Then we will look for the Google Sheet. I do have a name for it. I'm just going to be it. Boom. And here we go. Sheet name. It's Sheet 1. Beautiful. And here we go to the filter section. Very important. And what we want to filter by is by the status, the C column. And as we said, we want it to equal to not called. So all the people that have not called tagged, these are the people that we want to call. So not called. You can call it differently, really. You can also add a... I think a very elegant solution are these uh, tick boxes. And we can, you know... So the way that you do it is that you do tick box. And really, the how do you represent them and make is that the this one, the not filled out, is called false and the filled one is called true so if i do this this is true so in order to i mean in our case we want the false because these are the people that were not called so what i do here I cancel this and i will take this with me um the false i've copied it and then we can go here and call it false you can call it really that you want like i just doing this to show you how it works so you can mm, customize it as you wish sweet so we have the google sheet work setup so let's quickly save just to not uh run into errors and now what we're doing is once we run a run it once we're pretty much getting the data into our google uh, onto our make and we can see that we just took a bundle because we have the status false so that correctly was passed now onto the important piece and that's the connection with retail AI. Now, I think it's uh, worth to go to retail AI now and um, set up everything quickly. I do have already an agent that I set up. It's a very simple, stupid one. You can honestly just, yeah, <laughs> be more creative here. I just said, hello, how can I help you today with the dynamic variable? I just want to use like this name dynamic variable just to show you how it works and just let it talk about light. So that's really what we have. We don't have any webhooks. We're not really doing anything because we're going to hop that up with um, the phone number later. What we need though, if we want to do batch calls to call, of course, we will need uh, a phone number. What I did is I just bought a phone number here from retail. What you do is you buy a phone number and you put an area code and you save it. It's just $2. So I think that's a pretty easy way to get a phone number. And then what you do is you do Alba agent call and you select the burden of the um, agent that you're going to work with. That's my one. So that's what I selected. Good, good. So now that we have the phone number, we have the agent set up. What we need to do now is to, yeah, pretty much go through the documentation of how to create a batch call and yeah, make the retail AI uh, module. So. We go to retail AI and you will see at the bottom one called make an API call. I, I think they might work on it, hopefully at some point to have like a batch calling uh, integration that is kind of easier to work with. For now, it's not there yet. So we just make an API call and it's pretty easy actually, given that they simplify everything here with, um, yeah, with this integration. We already have a connection, so please go ahead and make a connection. And really what you need to do is um, you simply make a name and you put the API key, the retail API key. I just show you where to do that so you can easily do that yourself. Where you go is you go back to retail, you will see API keys, click there. And now you will see API keys, you click add and you just add a name for your API key. I simply call it retail batch calling and voila, that's it. You copy the API key. Actually, retail allows you to see it, which is quite unusual, but it's it's a possibility. Um, but copy it from here. You take it back. You go into make. You put it here and save. And voila, you have your connection. All right. Now, let's kind of do ping-ponging between the documentation and make.com. So... From the documentation, we can see create a batch call. That's what we need. It's a post request, and this is the link. 
So what we do right away is that we copy this. We, you have also a copy here, but it will copy the entire link. Uh, whatever, I'll just copy it and you can see. And we need a post, so make sure you, for, you don't forget that. We go back and we put the URL and you can see it's the entire thing, but we don't actually need it because it's already integrated with uh, with uh, retail. So you just create uh, create batch call and we said we need a post. That's all we need for now. Cool. And then, yeah, so we need to look at the required field. So in this case, we see authorization, which we have already. We have authorized whoop, already here with the connection. We need a body. So from number. And that is something that uh, we can see here. So we have so the from number and the tasks. From number, it's simply we put our number that we have from retail. Tasks is pretty much the two number. So we need to insert the number that is here. That is the people that we are going to call, which we will be getting from retail. It, sorry, um, from uh, Google Sheet that we got here. So this is the from, uh, sorry, the two number. And uh, yeah, so, or rather all the numbers that you will be putting here are all from numbers. So these are all numbers that we will be taking with us. And the way that we're doing it is that we're going to do like a dynamic. Um, so we will just map it out here in uh, retalk. Maybe to make it easier, I'll just show you how it works. And then another thing that we need uh, perhaps is dynamic variables. For this example, I'm just using name just to show you how you do it. And then you can kind of go ahead and do it yourself. Amazing. Okay. So to build this, um, I like to do to use the JSON editor online just to like um, quickly like play around with it. I already did it. So you can simply like copy this. And I'm actually thinking that it will be beneficial to just link all the stuff uh, in the description below. I will be just sharing it with you, the Google Sheets, the scenario. I mean, this very simple um, agent that uh, we're creating that is about talk about life. So I'll just uh, include everything in a zip file below so you can just download it and kind of go through uh, like quickly work with that. But yeah, so we have, as you see, the friend number, which is my number that I'm going to call from the two number which we will be uh, mapping out make the com so that's in the little sheet um phone number that we have and then we have the retail dynamic variables so we have customer name you could put email or whatever you have uh but we can map it out now so let's copy this boom let's go back to the body and yeah you insert it here in the body so we have the phone number correct so this is my phone number, the two number. Now, oh no, wait, I think this is my old phone number. Wait, wait, let me check actually. Yeah, that's good that we uh, check together. So my phone number, no, it's wrong. It's this one. Yeah, I, I, I kind of forgot to replace it in the, in the, in the JSON editor. So yeah, just to show you, I think this is better that we do it together. So you sh we copy this uh, number that we have the from number, boom, we paste it here, exactly. And then tasks, we say the two numbers. So the two number, as we said, we just want it to be dynamic. So we will be getting it from the Google Sheet. And where is it? It's here, phone number, voila. We just add it like this, customer number. How we add it is just adding the name. So, well, we add it like that. As I said, if you have email, if you have whatever else, you just add it below and job is done so it's pretty pretty simple save and we should be now ready to go so i will just quickly save good practice to always save often so we don't run into issues and yeah let's uh quickly run once and it should be calling us am i the, the, no heads up because um when you make these batch callings uh it takes a bit of time to see the call coming through don't lose hope it might take a minute or two uh but yeah that's that's how hello how can i help you today mo Hey, uh, I'm just testing you today. Hey there. No problem at all. Test away. I'm here to chat, help, or just hang out. What's on your mind? Yeah, as you saw, that was a quick uh, example that we ran through. And yeah, it 
pretty much called us, took a few minutes, but yeah, as you can see, you can easily add all the people that you want into the Google Sheet and then the call will go through. Now, as you can see, nothing kind of ticked. We didn't create the automation here, but you can go ahead and create it yourself. So create, uh, let's say, automation that continues. And once the call went successful, it will go into the, um, the row, search row, and then it will take this as true. So don't forget this is true. So if you ran in any issues or any issues that you want to discuss with me, please comment or you can also discuss with me directly. I have a link in the description that you can just talk to me for half an hour. We can go through your scenario and try to fix if any issues happen or if you want to work with us directly. Um, I also have a link with that. So yeah, all the information, all the links, zip files will be in the description. So please go and enjoy. With that said, I thank you for watching until now and see you in the next one.